Okay, in this video, we are going to see a demo on how we can perform SQL injection attacks using SQL map in Kali Linux on a vulnerable web application running on another virtual machine or another system. So I have downloaded and installed Metasploitable 2, which is an intentionally vulnerable Linux machine, which is used for security training and for penetration testing. And uh, on this uh, Metasploit, we have various vulnerable web applications running. So let me go and check the IP address of uh, Metasploit. So the IP address of Metasploit is 192.160.56.103. I'm going to go to my Kali Linux and then I'm going to go to my web browser. And uh, I'm going to give the IP address of Metasploitable 2 here. So you can very well see Metasploitable 2 is hosting all these vulnerable web applications. I am able to access these vulnerable web applications using the IP address of Metasploitable 2. So the application you are seeing here is actually running in this particular machine. See how we can use Kali Linux to attack the vulnerable web applications for SQL injection. For that, let's go and check utility. And we'll go to this particular form, user info. We'll enter some username and password. Okay, it says authentication error, bad username or password. So we'll be using this particular form to try and perform some SQL injection attacks from Kali Linux. So for that, what we are going to do is we'll copy this URL. So this application is running on Metasploitable 2. So we'll copy this URL and we'll go to a terminal. And what we'll do is we'll use SQL map tool to perform SQL injection attacks here. So SQL map H fetches you all that you can do with this tool. So it's like an help that you get on this particular tool. SQL map H gives you the entire kind of action that you can perform with SQL map. Okay, we, we have our uh, vulnerable web application. We have the link that we have to attack for SQL injections. We can just go and use SQL map and perform that. Let me clear screen. So the very first command is SQL map, the URL U, and then we'll paste the URL, and then press enter. So what this will do is it will check the application. It will tell us whether this application is injectable or not. Earlier, we have seen how to manually inject that application. Here, we are going to attack that application using Kali Linux and this tool called SQL Map. So let me press enter. So it's testing the target URL connection for any issues. So I have already run this on uh, my system. That's why it's quite fast. If you're running it for the first time, it may take some time. SQL map has very well identified that there are multiple injection points in that application. It very well tells us that there is a vulnerability present in that application. So we will proceed further. So it gives us some good information here. It tells us the backend DBMS is SQL and it also gives us an hint that this particular form that we have given in the URL is injectable. So with that uh, thing, we will go and try to get the database behind the application. We'll see what kind of databases exist. For that, we need to go and give SQL map u the same query and hyphen hyphen dbs. So this is going to find all the databases behind that form by performing SQL injection. We'll give yes will give zero. Okay, so here is that information we needed. 
So it has fetched us all the databases that are uh, running that application. So we have DBWA, we have information schema, we have Metasploit, MySQL. So these are database names, MySQL database names that is running that vulnerable web application. So since we have the database information now, we can go and look at the various tables inside our database. So for finding the various tables, we'll again go with SQL map you will give the URL of the application and then here we will give hyphen D and then we'll look at the database DVWA. So that particular database we are selecting and, and then we'll give hyphen hyphen tables. So we are taking one specific database and we are interested in looking at all the tables in the database. So we'll press enter here. give yes and then yeah so it very well tells us critical information here database is a dbwa and we have two tables guest book and users so this automated script sql map is able to perform sql injections and get us this data from the web application so we are interested in the users table because as an hacker we believe users table will be having the information on username and password we can go and see the columns in the user table for that what we are going to do is we are going to focus on the users table we'll again go with the sql map u and we'll give this information d dvwa that is the database and the table in this database is users and then we are interested in the columns so we want the columns from the users database Yeah, it's uh, yes, and then we'll select zero. Yeah, see how good it is. See, it's, it's able to fetch all the columns in that particular table users from this database. Everything is done automated here. We are not trying anything manually. You use Kali Linux, and then you can attack any vulnerable web application, but with caution. You are not supposed to attack any of the applications for which you don't have permission. That is quite illegal. If you go and alter any databases, even though it is vulnerable, and if you don't have any permission for that, you will face serious consequences. So please do not perform this on systems for which you don't have permissions. As you see, I have installed this vulnerable web application on a host only adapter inside my virtual box. That means that my Metasploitable 2 the vulnerable Linux machine itself is not available for anyone from outside to attack and hack. So you have to be very cautious in performing all these things. So we now know that the user table contains the password and the user ID. So what we'll do now is we'll go and um, dump this table. We'll get all the information in this table by running a dump. Clear. Let's again go with SQL map and then we'll go with the table p users and then now we'll dump the information dump will dump everything available in the table yeah given yes so now you see it's asking us whether we need to process the hashes in the table. So it has already fetched the hashes corresponding to the passwords. So let's give yes. And uh, it even asks us whether it should be cracking the hashes using a dictionary based attack. So we'll give an yes. Yeah, we got a final result. How wonderful is SQL map? You see here, this is the username admin and uh, this is the hash corresponding to the password and the actual password has been cracked using dictionary based attack that is called password so for every user we are able to retrieve the password by just performing sql injection attacks using sql map so this is how you can use kali linux and you can attack a target machine and a target vulnerable web application and get critical information 
again a word of caution please do not attempt all these things applications or systems for which you don't have permission